Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Just doing a video today on the scrap metal business, how I do it, what you'll need if you want to go out and do it yourself, and how much it costs me to um, take the truck out for the weekend and for the licenses and stuff to do it right. Because if you've got the luck I've got, then you'll get pulled over and you'll never get points or points or whatever or so on and so forth. So I tend to do it right because I've got the worst luck ever. So let's get started. Um, before you do any of it, you're going to need a basic disclosure certificate. That's um, a police check to send into the council so you can apply for your um, collector's licenses to collect on each um, borough. Scrap metal license for Canuck to collect them Canuck where I live. It's only applies in the UK, I don't know how employees all over the country, you know, the all over the world. Now this is in the UK. So your Canuck one is £294 for three years. You're going to need one of them if you want to collect scrap in the camp district. But I'm not just going to the camp district, they're really big enough to make it pay. So that was £294 for the three years. I also got South Staff's one. Safe staff's one was £206 for the three years, so that was uh, quite a bit cheaper. If you ain't got these and you get pulled out by the police, you're going to get a fine because they say it's a criminal offence to collect scrap metal without applying for a scrap metal collector's license. So you, you do need them. It all depends who pulls you out. If it's a road traffic police officer, they know it all and train for it. So we're going to ask you for these. That's your two um, scrap metal collecting licenses. You don't need two. If you only want one and you want to collect around your area or a certain area, you want to pay for that area, that's fine. But I've got the two because I don't just do kind of like I do safe staffs as well. That's that one. You're also going to need a waste disposal license. One of these. Now, that costs me £154. For three years. I bad for three years. You have to renew them every three years. That's so you can carry the scrap metal on the back of your truck and go and dispose of it. That's that. So it's, it's free there. So I've got um, the waste disposal license, which everyone needs if you're carrying the scrap metal. If you're collecting off the streets, the prices vary. Your council mine, I've just told you about mine, mine for the safe staff's one. It was £206 for three years, and for the Canuck one, it was £294 for the three years. So that's your collector's licenses if you're going to collect off the street. Your basic disclosure form, which you need before you do any of that, is well, I paid £25. It's basically it's a police check. It's just other council can look into your background, you know, so you are uh, a full blown criminal basically doing that kind of shit, um, tat off people. So, yeah, you need one of them before you can proceed to get your licenses. All that comes to £654 for three years, which I bet. At all. That expensive. Car insurance, well, your truck insurance, I really couldn't give you the price on that. I know what mine is, but it all depends on how it sounds to which area you're in. If you've got a, a really bad crime rate area, your insurance goes up for some reason. Obviously, it could probably be a lot of fun. But yeah, it all depends on where you live, what vehicle you've got. And how many points you've got if you've got any points or so on and so on and so on. 
like I say, for the waste carrier's license, I paid £154. For the scrap collector's license, for Canuck, £294 for the three years. The South Staff's one, £206 for the three years. And for my basic disclosure form, certificate, which is a police check, for the council can check whether you're out or not, that cost me 25 quid. Insurance, like I say, it all depends on the individual, on where you live, if you've got any points or anything like that. So if you want to go out tatting to earn some money, now you can even make a living a bit, huh? Collecting scrap metal off the streets of the UK. Waste disposal license. It's a must. And your collector's licenses for each council wherever you want to venture out to. So yeah, then we're in a must as well. And the correct insurance. I can't stress enough with insurance, because I, many, many years ago, about 20 years ago, I got pulled out by the police. I had commercial insurance, the scrap metal was my own on the back. But they still took me to court and they still gave me six points and a 380 pound fine because it was the wrong type of insurance. I should have had higher and reward on it. That's what I can tell you now, you've got a higher reward and it's got to say, stay on it that you're collecting scrap metal. So scrap metal insurance with higher reward, which unfortunately I should. But, you have your ups and downs out there. I am mostly good. I have a few ups and downs, where some weeks I don't make as much. It's a good game to get into, there's, you know, there's a fair bit of money in it. If you persevere, if you're an early riser, work hard at it. You can make a living out of it and put the food on your table. There you go. So all that what I was speaking about earlier, I'll say it again, it was £654 for three years, which is nothing. So if you've got a vehicle, not a car, don't do it in a car. Either a van, or a pickup truck, or even a car and a trailer, fair enough if you've got it. All the licenses, the correct insurances, happy days. If you've liked my video, um, please like and subscribe if you don't mind, it's not the channel that massive. And if you need to know anything else about it, drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you again.